point is, this isn't tit for tat. There is a massive imbalance when it comes to the two sides' weaponry and capabilities. While most of the rockets aimed toward Israeli citizens this week were intercepted, Israel's airstrikes were not. They hit their targets, including a house in a refugee camp, a building housing the Associated Press and Al Jazeera, and this 13-story office and apartment building. And while Israel insisted that there were military targets in that building and that they destroyed it as humanely as possible, even warning people to evacuate beforehand, for the record, destroying a civilian residence sure seems like a war crime, regardless of whether you send a courtesy heads-up text. And when dozens of people have seen their homes or livelihoods destroyed, it doesn't really help that the Israeli ministry posted this triumphant meme showing the explosion and the rubble labelled before and after. Look what we did. People lived there before and now they can't. You get it, right? And obviously, in general, you should probably never meme a war crime. But if you absolutely have to, at least go with something less boring than the before-after template. Maybe use the Drake meme or the Disaster Girl. There's a building coming down, so checkmark already there. And it's a little girl with eyes that scream, I don't know what the Geneva Conventions are, and frankly, I don't care. The more I think about it, it works perfectly.